Welcome to the first episode of the Cultural Chef Exchange with Square, the mentorship series. The Cultural Chef Exchange itself is a collaborative series of events that take place once a month, whereby we bring some of the world's best chefs, either with Michelin stars and the world's 50 best or other significant chefs of note, to engage with Canadian food products, Canadian people, and Canadian landscapes in order to create something new. Engineers and lawyers and doctors constantly go to new training. They are constantly re-educating themselves to stay abreast with what's happening. And we don't do that as culinarians, and we need to. We took a helicopter to a remote mountain lake here in Nordeg, Alberta, where we sourced and caught cutthroat trout. And the chefs are going to take the ingredients and they're going to do something with it. And it will be wildly diverse and different. Sustainable products are local and they're closer to you and usually they're going to become more accessible. When people always ask me, how can I communicate sustainability to my guests? I think you do it through the tastes first. I had no idea that a little bit of like greens, like, you know, grow on the ground tastes so, so good. So that I can use it to, you know, garnish my dishes to make it one level up. In order to mitigate the customer impact of rising food costs, change your menu, make sure you're reflecting things that are in season, food that comes locally, it will have a higher guest satisfaction. My name is Shin Takagi. So changing is not negative. Change is a kind of adjusting to a new stage and a new generation and new customers. Prioritizing ideas in business comes down to what you can A, deliver, properly. Can I actually deliver this idea? This idea is wicked. Do I have the resources, either financially, do I need to get a, a small square term loan? I think our customers, especially in restaurants, come to be entertained. And if you can deliver a higher guest satisfaction, you can justify the charge. If restaurants continue to be sustainable during hard times, it's a great way to differentiate yourself. You need to find facets of yourself that are different and special and exciting to you. And that way, if somebody's not turned on by one thing you're doing, there's other parts of your brand that may excite them because people get more choosy during the hard times.